I'm Effie and this is What Effie Reads. I was lost but you helped me find my way, tainted by a desire cause I was scared to face the truth you pulled me out from my anxiety. Grab yourself a cup of tea, cup of coffee, hot chocolate, whatever tickles your fancy. Get cosy and settle in because I'm going to be talking about my 2021 reading year in statistics. I guess first up let's talk about how many books I read. In 2021 I read 324 books of which 316 were unique titles so I did have a few rereads in there. Of those 324 books, 126 were audiobooks, 103 were ebooks, and 95 were physical books. In terms of pages read, I read 54,520 pages and listened to 1,430 hours and 14 minutes of audiobooks, which works out to the equivalent of 101,879 pages. My best reading month was October. I managed to finish 46 books in October and my worst reading month was August and I managed to finish 13 books in August. I will point out that it was my 30th birthday in August so that probably contributes to it quite significantly. I've just brought up a screen recording of my statistics and I will talk through them with you. So in January I read 19 books, 9 of which were audiobooks, 6 were ebooks and 4 were physical. I read 4,776 pages and listened to 57 hours and 43 minutes of audiobooks, which works out to the equivalent of 7,034 pages. In January, I read 24 books, 7 audiobooks, 10 ebooks, and 7 physical books. I read 6,479 pages and listened to 114 hours and 36 minutes of audiobooks which worked out to the equivalent of 9,832 pages. In March I read 29 books, 4 audiobooks, 16 ebooks and 9 physical books. I read 5,084 pages and listened to 29 hours and 18 minutes of audiobooks, which worked out to the equivalent of 6,332 pages. In April, I read 33 books, two audiobooks, 18 ebooks, and 13 physical books. I read 5,089 pages and listen to 29 hours and 25 minutes of audiobooks, working out to the equivalent of 6,649 pages. In May, I read 27 books, 9 audiobooks, 7 ebooks, and 11 physical books. I read 4,077 pages and listen to 98 hours and 27 minutes of audiobooks, and that worked out to the equivalent of 7,811 pages. In June, I read 30 books, 12 audiobooks, 8 ebooks, and 10 physical books. I read 6,371 pages and listened to 105 hours and 32 minutes of audiobooks. And this worked out to the equivalent of 10,350 pages. In July, I read 25 books, 9 audiobooks, 11 ebooks, and 5 physical books. 
I read 4,672 pages and listened to 102 hours and 46 minutes of audiobooks and that worked out to the equivalent of 7,758 pages. In August I read 13 books, 4 audiobooks, 4 ebooks and 5 physical books. I read 3,266 pages and listened to 83 hours and 44 minutes of audiobooks and that worked out to the equivalent of 5,002 pages. In September I read 24 books, 11 audiobooks, 6 ebooks and 7 physical books. I read 4,550 pages and listened to 142 hours and one minute of audiobooks which worked out to the equivalent of 9816 pages. In October I read 46 books, 26 audiobooks, 7 ebooks and 13 physical books. I read 5461 pages and listened to 239 hours and 28 minutes of audiobooks. And that worked out to the equivalent of 13,389 pages. In November, I read 29 books, 17 audiobooks, 9 ebooks, and 3 physical books. I read 2,204 pages and listened to 207 hours and 58 minutes of audiobooks which worked out to the equivalent of 8,926 pages. And finally, in December, I read 25 books, 16 audiobooks, one ebook, and eight physical books. I read 241 pages and listened to 291 hours and 16 minutes of audiobooks. And that worked out to the equivalent of 8,980 pages. I probably should note that my page count includes books that I haven't completed so it also includes DNFs and books that I'm still currently reading but that is my overall quantity of stats. Let's have a look at some of the breakdowns. The shortest book that I completed was Heron number two which was just 11 pages long and the longest book that I completed was War and Peace which is 1,392 pages. I'm just gonna have a run through all the different stats that Storygraph gives me and I will pop some of the graphs on screen so you can see what I'm talking about. So first off my reading goal for the year was 150 books and 50,000 pages um, which is exactly the same reading goals as I've got this year except this year I have kind of type specific goals although you can't be that specific on Storygraph it is my intention to just aim to read 50 books and 100 audiobooks but anyway <laughs> As you've already heard, I well and truly smashed my goals for the year. I read 216% of my goal in terms of number of books read and 181% of my goal in terms of pages read, although that isn't wholly accurate as Storygraph doesn't work out equivalent pages for audiobooks read, which is fair. I I do, I do count equivalent pages but it's nice to know that even if I just counted like actual pages I would have met my goal. In terms of my top moods for the books that I read, the very top, the top three moods make up roughly 50% and we've got adventurous, dark and emotional and I think that thoroughly sums up what I like. Well, maybe not adventurous. I'm surprised that 
that is one of my top moods because I wouldn't say I lean towards adventurous but maybe it's the fantasy weighs it that way but definitely I love a book that's dark and I love a book that's emotional if a book has made me weep it's done something good as you can see there's a wide variety of emotions there but also you can see that takes up roughly 50% of the pie. In terms of pace, 21% of what I read was slow paced, 38% was medium paced and 41% was fast paced. In 2021 I did want to try and focus on longer books. I'm not sure if I particularly succeeded as 50% of my books are still under 500 pages however I did read a lot of manga and graphic novels you can see that I've got a whole shelf of manga and graphic novels that I read last year and I've actually also got a couple there and that's not including all of the ones that I read digitally so that probably skews my numbers somewhat and then 42% of my reading was 300 to 499 pages long and then 8% was over 500 pages which considering how many books I did read that's not the worst like 8% of 324 books is not an inconsiderable amount and then I primarily read fiction with 93% of my reading being fiction and only 7% being non-fiction. I would like to have seen that skew a little bit more the other way. But I get it. I do primarily re reach for fiction and it can also be a little bit difficult to source non-fiction audiobooks. But hopefully I can skew that. I think even if I can skew it by 1% this year, that will be an improvement. In terms of top genre, my top genre was fantasy, closely followed by young adult and romance, which surprises me. Because I've said time and time again that romance isn't my genre. But I also know that books aren't purely one genre. So it could be that I've been reading a lot of fantasy romance or it could be that it's just been flagged up as having a romance in it. I also, the fourth most popular genre was queer books, which makes sense. I'm just going to dig into what the romances were because that one is a bit of a surprise to me. It seems like when I dig into it, it does make sense because... I read all of the Throne of Glass books, so if they're categorised as romance, that's eight books. I read all of the Akhtar books twice, so that's another ten. <laughs> so we're already up to 18. Six Desperate Measures books, five New Camelot books. Yeah, it makes sense when I think about it, but it seemed pretty high. I think it's always interesting to see how it breaks down though. For my most read authors it's not really a surprise. We've got Sarah J Maas taking the top spot because I did read her whole back catalogue. I didn't quite finish Soul Stealer Before the Bells but I still read all of her, every single one of her books in a 12 month period so Obviously, she takes top spot of most read author. In second place, we've got Sean and Maguire because I read all of the Wayward Children books. Well, all of the ones that there is so far. Um, in third place, we've got Koshin Takami, which again makes sense because I read Battle Royale and then I've read six of the manga plus Angel's Border. So yeah, not much surprises. And overall, my 
average rating was 3.81 stars which fun fact as you can see from this graphic here my average rating in 2020 is exactly the same as in 2021 which i think possibly says something about consistency of rating but also possibly says something about consistency of books that i reach for i don't think an average rating of 3.81 is too bad it means i'm generally picking books that i enjoy just for funsies we've got a breakdown of my ratings by book type so my highest average rating goes to books that are relaxing my average rating for books that are relaxing is a five i'm going to guess i only have one book that's relaxing um but in second place we've got sad my average rating for books that are sad is 4.23 and then surprisingly hopeful is 4.07 i've also got a breakdown by genre so biography i gave an average rating of five so again i'm going to assume that i only had one book classified as biography i actually can't even think of what book that would be um and then education was a 4.5 play was a 4.5 sociology was a 4.5 manga was a 4.45 so i think these are probably like my least read genre so fantasy i gave an average rating of a four romance i gave an average rating of 3.9 and young adult i gave an average rating of 3.84 so basically my most read genres i gave a slightly higher average rating which i think is also an interesting thing to break down and then just for funsies queer books the average rating is a 4.18 which i think says it all like if a book's queer i'm more inclined to like it more the last little bit of stats i've got for you is the breakdown of ratings less than one percent of the books i read last year were under one star approximately three percent were between a one and a two star approximately nine percent were between a two and a three around 36 percent were between a three and a four and roughly 40 percent were between a four and a five and around 12 percent were a five star which I think is a pretty good breakdown. The rating that I gave to the most number of books was a 3.75 with 45 books receiving that rating. And I think that's all the stats I've got. Please let me know if there's any other stats you would like to know about my reading year because I have all the data <laughs> um and shout out to shannon over at head in the books for letting me know what kind of stats she would be interested in hearing about i hope you enjoyed this and until tomorrow bye There's a place in my heart